<laughs> From mealworms to freeze-dried chicken and peat pops, we've got some of the top food trends that will be hitting grocery store shelves in 2019. Dietitian with Thrive 360, Zanet Reza, good morning. You are good here morning. to take us through the latest, yes. including this cauliflower pizza, which I just had. Yes. It's good. I know, and I gotta tell you, nutritionists and dietitians are geeked out this year because one of the hottest trends is gonna be plant-based, and partly because the new Canada's Food Guide is gonna be released early this year, and that's gonna be the big theme, is plant-based. Mm -hmm. But that does not mean vegan or vegetarian. Mm -hmm. When you look at Ipsos Canada data, that's holding steady at 5%. So only 5% of the population identify as vegan or vegetarian. I'm surprised. Yeah, I, I know, it's really surprising. Higher, yeah. yeah, well, it's slightly higher for millennials. It's at 9%, okay. but it's not that much higher. So you're talking about the Kali Power uh, mm -hmm. pizza. They're, they've also come out with just the plain pizza crust. You can top it however you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so things that are convenient, that's really what people are looking for in terms of eating more vegetables that way or the, you know, the vegetable crumbles are sort of a big thing here. Um, and you're also going to be seeing things, vegetables from the sea. So we have some dults, we have some seaweed crackers, and then in terms of Can other this? vegetarian, yeah, go for it. What is dults? Oh, yeah, what is like dults? So dults is, it's basically, it's a type of seaweed, it's high in iodine, a little bit of a crunch to it, mm -hmm. a bit of salty, high in uh, potassium as well. So you're going to see more Very seaweedy. Mm -hmm. It is Very, it like, seaweedy because it is a seaweed. It tastes like the ocean, <laughs> for sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one I thought, <laughs> when I was at the Grocery Innovation Show, I came across this little quinoa bar. And this is great. It was uh, co-produced with a colleague of mine, another registered dietitian. And it's packed with protein and fiber. It's quinoa based. Okay. But it's got no allergens. So if you're sending something mm -hmm. to school with your kids, that's a really great option. Tiger nuts. Tiger so nuts. The, yeah, so there's no tiger, there's no nuts in Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Name, I'll try yeah. That. Yeah. Um, it's actually it. a root vegetable. Oh. And the cool thing about this mm. is just a small handful will give you 10 grams of fiber. Wow. Beautiful. And the kind of fiber in it is called a prebiotic. So this is the kind of fiber that your gut bacteria love. It's sweet. It almost tastes like a chestnut. Yes, mm. it is sweet. So you can top it on yogurt. You can snack right out of the bag. So watch for more products coming out with tiger nuts. Okay. Mm. So Plant-based is sort of the first trend. The second trend, protein is still going strong. And according to Ipsos, people are looking for portable protein, so something that's easy to carry. And we've got a few examples here. Um, We've seen roasted uh, chickpeas. chickpeas. So now we've come up with roasted lentils. So there's Tex-Mex, there's our Thai flavor, hemp hearts. So you might have seen hemp hearts in the grocery store yeah. to sprinkle on your yogurt. But these are little hemp Thanks, heart Steve. bites. And this is uh, the cinnamon mm. flavor, which I like. It comes in a few different flavors. And then there's a plethora of protein bars. And with the shift to plant-based, there's more vegan or vegetable um, Type of protein and it's guilt-free. You're sticking mm. to your, your, your new resolution. Right That's, That's right. And delicious. Exactly. Um, and with juice. lentils and chickpeas, you know, we grow a ton of it in Canada, and it's got a lower carbon footprint than, say, some other proteins. Yeah. But eggs, I got to tell you, are still strong in the breakfast category. You want grab and go. These are mini quiches that you can just pop in the microwave. Each quiche is about nine grams of protein. So protein is still wow. a good news story, and you're going to see more and more vegetable protein wow. options. Okay. And speaking of carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. You don't have yes. to worry about that if you're eating crickets, my friend. Right. It's the uh, <laughs> leanest, right. healthiest protein to not only cultivate, but to actually consume. Exactly. But, you know, it's a bit of that ick factor, like, oh, my gosh, I'm eating bugs, right? So there's a couple of different options. Uh, you know, the little bars have been on the market for a couple of years now, and PC has come out with protein powder. So you can throw that in your smoothie, in your baking. So it's kind of like that stealth so health. Weird, though. And, oh. But you know what? It's kind of nutty tasting, mm -hmm. and you really... It helps you get over that ick factor. And then this is a cool new product for it, that I came, for, came across, which is a cricket chip. These and it's little, sriracha flavored. These so little go for cricket it. bits in there that I'm seeing. <laughs> it's, instead of a chip, it's a crip. It's a, a cricket chip. chip. Yeah, that's right. It's a little chirp. <laughs> a chicken. Not bad. Yeah? Really good. Yeah, you like the go. chicken? We're mm -hmm. calling it chicken. I'm going to leave the whole bag for you. I'm there you go. Those more yeah. breakfast so right you're going to see more bug <laughs> type <laughs> products on the market. <laughs> thank so you. So plants, protein, and bugs. At the Zenit Reza. Thank you. Yeah, for that's more right. Information. Oh, and also um, edible cannabis products at the end of the year, so past October. We'll have you Watch back for that, that but we go. won't be sampling that on here. <laughs> right now, we're in the newsroom. Thank you. That's good.